Welcome to a Smart Suite Online first time sign on with a bonus of how to add a self paced smart notebook lesson presented by me, Rod Hooper, instructional technology curriculum coach for the St. Lawrence Louis Boses Model Schools program. So, the best way, well, the way I think is best to work with Smart Suite Online is through your Google Drive. So, this means that your district has to have included it in the Google Console. But once they have done that, you can go to New, More, and then you will see the Smart Learning Suite. Now, if it's the first time that you've gone to the Smart Learning Suite, you're going to have to sign in. Go to Teacher Sign In. <clears throat> if you are uh, signed in through your Google console, you can just simply sign in with your Google account and everything should be all right. But you also have to pay for the smart subscription. And even though you might have the smart subscription activated and your smart notebook is up to date, your account has to be tied in to the smart suite. So again, you're going to have to contact your IT department to make sure that they get you uh, signed in. Once you have your account and it's all good, when you click on the add more smart suite, you will get this screen here. This is the online uploader or creator, if you will. This is where you could add content. So if you had a PDF, a PowerPoint, a Google Doc, Google Sheets, a PDF, you could upload it here. You could also use this to upload a smart notebook, which is my preferred method because you get more options when you're actually creating from a smart notebook. So when you click on this, you will be able to bring in anything from your Google Drive or from your device. So let's see what I have on my device. So this is a smart notebook lesson that I designed to be student paste so i can assign it through google classroom they could do it on their own time and as you can see it takes a while for it to upload now once your assignment has been uploaded you now have to run through it and decide what each page is going to be is it going to be just something they're going to look at or is it going to be something they're going to interact with? This is my title slide. I do not want to make it interactive. So I'm going to go to the, my next page. Page two is a bell ringer. Well, I'm going to want them to complete this. So I'm going to make it an individual activity. So I click on the convert to an activity, make this page a handout. And they now will be able to move it. In fact, if I preview this, notice I made this in Smart Notebook, especially because I love the infinite cloner. So I can just keep dragging off as many numbers as I want. So if the, they do not have a touch screen, you don't have to worry about it too much. They can just drag the content off of my little tool area. So infinite cloning is available if you are going to use the smart notebook to create your content. In my smart notebook, I also have the ability to insert YouTube videos or other videos that are housed online. And then I have another worksheet. Here's my answer pool where they can again drag up content. So. I'm going to delete that little item I just created and convert this to an individual activity. Now I'm going to go down through and do this for all of my little worksheets that they're going to be doing. And this is the time consuming part. Now this one is just an instruction page. Looks kind of bland, so I think I'll add an image to that. Are measuring after all and I can lock that so they can't move it and I go to my next page I'll make that an individual activity oh by the way uh, you notice the ruler that is something I have added from the smart notebook you can actually rotate it too but they can't resize it it's set for lock 
and allow move and rotate. Now, when I create this, I'm not going to make anything that depends on other people. So here's a practice game. It's totally uh, uh, solitary. You don't have to uh, totally solitary as in you don't need anybody else to do it. And this last page here, oh, I don't need that. That was just something I was using to help create things. So I can hit the trash. All right. So that's just a practice game right here. If you want to see what it is, it's a matching. You take the image and you match it to and if you get a match it puts it in the thing if you don't get a match it separates it so that is all it took to create my self-paced activity i'm going to say finish editing it's going to take me to as if I'm actually going to present it right now, but I'm not. So I can just close this right out. And you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to put this in my smart learning suite folder. This folder is created for you when you log in and sign in for the very first time and create something. Uh, after that, I generally will click on and open that so that anytime I create a new smart activity, it will be in that folder. But in this case, I forgot to do that. So here it is right here. I will just drag that into that folder. Keep all my smart stuff together. Uh, you, of course, can design it any way you want, your own structure. So here's that self-paced lesson in the smart folder. And now I would go to my Google Classroom and I would assign that. And the students, after having signed in with Google, would be able to complete that and I could go back in and look at their results. I could see their work, it will be saved.